Welcome back, creators. So, we've got a new trailer. A lot of crazy things are being thrown at us at such a rapid pace that I really had to just like rewatch this trailer a couple of times, slow it down to really get all that information in and see what levels these even are because I saw a lot of confusion for the Sunset Heights level. And at first, I did not recognize it as Sunset Heights because it just looks so different. It's like this underground section. Um, it still could be something else, but right now I'm like 90% sure that it's Sunset heights kingdom valley continues to look great we're actually seeing the black aliens and they look so good in hd like they look so cool their textures are like fully realized like when you go back and you look at the gamecube ps2 models you can see that like the colors and the model itself are doing most of the work but now the textures can just give it that extra little bit of this alien look it really has like this xenomorph type texture, which just looks really cool. I love the way the aliens look in this game, and it's so good to see them. This remix playing in the background of the trailer is also amazing. It's actually not EDM. It seems to be more of a uh, metal remix, you know, so it sounds really, really good. Right off the bat, I think just the Doom powers, like finally getting to see them uh, in action. It's like they looked at games like Shadow the Hedgehog in 06, and they're like, okay, there's all these vehicles. There's like um, that little circular disc thing that Shadow would ride around like on top of that like toxic waste in the prison island level I believe in Shadow the Hedgehog. Um, there was all these different types of vehicles that could hover over water and fly through the air and so like they're basically moving away from that now which I think just solidifies even more that Shadow is the ultimate life form. Like, if he is this ultimate life form, why would he need vehicles? Why would he need all these things? Because it's cool, right? Like, I understand that reasoning, but this just makes way more sense to me. And as for Black Doom, he seems to be forcefully unlocking these powers for Shadow that were just lying dormant within himself. That's what it seems like to me. Why Black Doom would be aiding him by giving him these powers? He keeps saying that like this is Shadow's fate and I'm really wondering like what kind of role Black Doom is playing here. Now throughout the trailer we also see Chaos Island and in Chaos Island there seems to be this purple liquid and this purple liquid also shows up in Shadow's hub world and now I'm just sort of wondering what's the connection there you know because at first I thought maybe the purple liquid is a tease of Mephilus right which every time I see a trailer I get less confident that we're gonna see Mephilus just because this already has so much going on we have Metal Sonic Overlord um, which is Neo Metal Sonic's final form Black Doom and all of his transformations hell we may even see Black Bull return like there's a lot of different types of alien creatures. We may even see a boss battle with gun, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's really just up in the air right now. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised, right? Because, you know, Crisis City is a level from the future that showed up in Generations. Chaos Island being a level from the future that takes place in Frontiers that Shadow explores earlier, that would mean that Shadow, if he were to go to Starfall Islands in the present time, in the official timeline, he would actually recognize it. He would recognize Chaos Island from the Starfall islands. So that's pretty interesting that if Sonic ever mentions Chaos Island in a future game with Shadow in it, Shadow would be like, hey, I remember that. I was there. But there is also this crazy possibility that they're gonna tie a bunch of lore from 06, Shadow the Hedgehog, and Frontiers together and make this through line and say that, oh, Chaos Island is actually Flame Core. Like, literally, it is Flame Core, but I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if that makes any sense. So, I don't really know what the significance is there, but yeah, it is really making me curious you know, about this game's story and what they're sort of holding back from us. Now, seeing that purple liquid, there is a very similar liquid in the Black Comet level in Shadow the Hedgehog. And so far, we have not seen a single level from Shadow the Hedgehog. What I thought was Westopolis turned out to be Radical Highway, and honestly, I think it's just Radical Highway. I don't think there's any part of it that's Westopolis, even though some parts of it look like Westopolis. It's not the case. So that's very confusing for me. I don't really know why they're avoiding Shadow the Hedgehog levels. It's kind of a letdown a little bit because like I get Sunset Heights is more recent. Shadow did have a level there in the Forces DLC and it makes sense, right? Maybe we could have an infinite boss battle or something. I don't know what they're planning on doing, but I get it. But like at the same time, there's all these amazing levels, like a massive selection of levels they could have chosen from. And for some reason, they just didn't do it. I don't know why. The only thing I can think is that maybe they're saving that for another game. Maybe they want to do 
do a remake of Shadow the Hedgehog, you know, with the whole popularity of his character going through the roof, especially after the movie comes out. Hell, even if we just can get the trailer, <laughs> if that thing is uh, ever coming out, that would boost his popularity alone, let alone the movie coming out. So yeah, it's, it's very possible we could see a Heroes remake and a Shadow the Hedgehog remake. Anyway, with that out of the way, we see Metal Overlord come back in this. And that was the most surprising thing especially because it was the first thing I saw in the thumbnail. I was just like, what is going on? They're pulling a lot from Heroes, and I'd never really thought of Heroes as like a big game for Shadow. It was like his returning game after he died in SA2, or at least seemingly died, right? He actually ended up surviving, but I just wasn't expecting to see so much from it. But what's interesting is that it's a little bit of a spin on Final Fortress. It's not Final Fortress from Heroes to a T. Instead of it being in the sky, it's fallen into the water. And I really like that aesthetic. Like these massive ships sunken into the water and it's like this overcast, cloudy, rainy sort of look. Like it looks really, really cool. And um, I'm sure this is gonna be the boss battle after Rail Canyon, Bullet Station and all that. I would assume, not entirely sure on that. But what is really cool is that we're finally getting this boss battle because I was thinking about it and yeah, that is something that was sort of missing from base generations. It was a Metal Overlord reference or boss battle, you know, so now we actually get that except with Shadow, which is totally fine by me. Since we've already seen Sonic fight him before, you know, it, it'd be very fitting that we get to see Shadow fight him this time. And as for him looking a little smaller, I did notice that too. I'm pretty sure they just had to design it that way for the level that they wanted to do, the type of boss battle they wanted to do. Or maybe we're misremembering and he actually wasn't as big as we remember. <laughs> I don't know, I'm having a hard time figuring out why he looks so small. Again, you know, it is possible that Metal Overlord can control his size, so he can be bigger or he can be smaller depending on the situation. I don't really know if that's an ability that Metal Overlord has. We don't really know anything about that transformation outside of what we've seen in Sonic Heroes, so it's not super noticeable or anything. It also could just be the perspective of him floating above you slightly higher in the sky. But one thing I wanted to say about the Doom powers is it's not just that they're echoing what the vehicles used to be and the functions they used to serve, they're also reminding me a lot of the Wisps. And that is not a problem, because this is more integrated to me and it makes more sense, and they're based off like the alien creatures, and so I really think it's fitting. Whereas the Wisps, I also don't have much of an issue with. They fit more of Sonic's aesthetic and they're more fitting for the story of Sonic Colors and Lost World, right? Like, they fit those games very well um, in terms of aesthetics. But there's also uh, something else that reminded me of, the one that sort of can take you through, like, the toxic liquids and stuff. There was this mechanic in Shadow the Hedgehog where you spin dash on this little uh, liquidy red platform and it takes you through this tube and then you end up on the other part of the stage like it's like a way to progress or like uh, skip a part of the stage it really did remind me of that too except this one you can control which is cool and it's like just better and so what I'm noticing actually um, like shadow uh, aiming to like kick that enemy into that I don't even know what it's called that like green orb thing that you hit in Kingdom Valley that like starts the uh, rail grinding wind to form that is cool. That just adds more to the gameplay, um, more challenge, more interactivity, and so you actually have to aim correctly and then kick the enemy into that so that you have something to land on and can progress through the stage. That is really, really smart, really, really cool. And so what I'm noticing is that this game just looks really fun. You know, I think story aside and the fact that this is not as long of a game as your typical Sonic game aside, this just looks really fun. Like they really thought about level design and just what's fun, you know? And I really do appreciate that. I do recognize as well that there's probably at least maybe one or two more levels that they're not showing us, and I really, really hope it's Black Comet. I really want to see that with all these updated textures and, and graphical capabilities and um, this new gameplay. Most importantly, I think just not taking advantage of that, it would just be such a shame. And maybe that is the DLC level that they're adding later. I don't know. What kind of confuses me is that I feel like they're doing some sort of a movie tie-in because like right around the holidays, we're getting an extra level and an extra skin. And it's like, I don't know, is it a movie shadow skin with a movie shadow level? That's kind of what it seems like it could be to me. But 
but I just don't know. I've never seen them merge the movie stuff with the game stuff, so I just don't think that'll happen, but we'll see. But yeah, I, I am a little bit kind of like, oh man, I really wanted to see Flame Core. I really wanted to see Dusty Desert. I really wanted to see more levels from Shadow the Hedgehog, like Prison Island and all that kind of stuff. Those levels would have definitely worked with this game. This game could have honestly been twice as long as Generations and I think would still be a better game and they would never run out of levels. I think that's what people misunderstand is that, oh, what is there to pull from Shadow? Like he doesn't even have that many games or, or that many levels tied to him. Well, if you actually played Shadow the Hedgehog and you realize that there's multiple paths in the story, there is so many levels to choose from, like Lava Shelter, people really wanted to see that come back. Like, I feel that, I really do. I feel like uh, they should just remaster the game at this point, now that I've sort of seen how they've dodged a lot of Shadow the Hedgehog levels, I'm like, well, can't get away that easily. <laughs> like, there's a lot of good, iconic levels in that game that have just not been touched. And again, I could be wrong. Maybe when the game comes out, there's some levels we haven't seen. But uh, yeah, Black Comet needs to come back. So I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say. But uh, yeah, as we get closer, I am starting to realize that, yeah, Mephilus is probably not in this. It just seems so packed. I just don't think they'll have room for a character that requires so much room and time and care, you know, to do right. But the focus being Black Doom, that's awesome. And like having the Black Aliens back, that's awesome. I really, really cannot wait for someone to port those models into uh, Source Filmmaker and Gmod so I can use them. <laughs> I may have to just pay someone to do that, honestly, uh, because I would love to have those higher quality models and actually be able to tell stories with uh, Black Doom and, uh, and the aliens and stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, just want to give a quick update for Sonic Cybernetics Episode 6 really quickly, just to give you guys a little heads up that this episode is coming out really, really soon. It's in its final stages of animation and voice acting. I ended up adding a small scene in there, so... I've just been doing the voice work and uh, having my Blaze voice actress and um, Jade, who voices Mighty, come in and do their lines. So that scene is not going to extend development like to some far away time. You know, it's still coming out at the same time I planned for it to, which is before Shadow Generations comes out. That is my goal. That is what I'm trying to do. It's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> there's not a lot left, but at the same time, like there's a decent chunk left, you know? And so it's like, I'm, I'm in that final push and uh, I can't wait for you guys to see it. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video creators. Let me know what you think of Shadow Generations down below. Peace out guys.